Hi everybody! Okay, so you're clicking on this video and it's like, what in the world is this girl talking about? Did she really mention putting coochie cream on her head? Well, as a matter of fact, I did. Um, this video is made for my friends over at the Elf HC. Hey ladies! And um, it's a really big topic over there about um, using an antifungal cream for hair growth. And I know a lot of people at first are like, what? I'm not going to do that. Well, I've heard people doing, you know, weirder things than putting coochie cream on their head. But um, anyway, I want to give you a little bit of rundown about it and some application methods that I use. Okay, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Monistat. Monistat is made of... Um, a substance called meconazole nitrate and meconazole nitrate is an antifungal cream or a substance that is used uh, in like common everyday things from shampoos um, for uh, foot infections, jock itch, ringworm, um, it's found in some dandruff shampoos it's a really common product and as most of you know you know it's used for coochie creams okay yeah, we got to get past that or nobody's going to take this serious. <laughs> um, I use just the regular Monistat 7, the 2%. Um, over here in the States, we don't have dark, was it Darkadin? Dyke? I can't pronounce it. Um, but some of the ladies over there have used Darkadin, don't hold me to that word, um, with great success. And that is like a substitute for this. Um, some have tried the Neosporin um, foot fungus cream. I don't know how well that worked. Uh, the main topic over there is the actual monostat. Um, I'm going to go into a little bit about... Okay, the theory for using an antifungal cream on your head is this has been speculated. This hasn't been proven. No real tests have been done. But... Um, a lot of ladies believe that uh, dandruff, well, it's a form of a fungus, and your body has natural uh, funguses that live on the surface all the time. You know, they're, they're not harmful, they're not anything. Um, some people's bodies react differently. Um, some ladies have a really bad dandruff problem. Some have, uh, I guess it's called like a, a oozy scalp, where it's just, it stays moist all the time, and it just, it itches, and... It just feels really uncomfortable. Um, and they notice that they have a lot of hair issues. Their hair isn't growing. Um, it's their stunted growth. It's coming in thin or, or patchy. And the myconazole nitrate actually helps combat that fungus, the, the overgrowth of fungus, which leads to, you know, your scalp being able to breathe, it, it can get oxygen that it needs to help produce the hair growth. Um, a lot of people, you know, really are turned off by the idea of, of using, you know, cooter cream on their head, but I mean, in all reality, there are thousands of ladies that do it, that, you know, they don't say nothing about it, but everybody does it. I mean, the, the thread that I've been on has been going on for over oh my gosh, I want to say three years, and there's new people asking questions every day. So it's really a big thing, you know, nobody wants to talk about it, it's kind of taboo, but I'm here to let you know a little bit about it, and if you want to try it, I say go for it. Have fun! Before I begin, I just wanted to go over some side effects that have been noted on the thread. Um, the most common one is migraine like headaches and these can last anywhere from um, as soon as you apply it to up until you wash it off. Um, so I would strongly suggest if you have a sensitive scalp do not apply it full strength. You want to dilute it with something before you apply. Uh, let's see another common side effect is tenderness in the area of application. Um, this can be you know just from you know Ooh, it feels weird or it could just burn a little bit so that's also for people with sensitive scalps um, another issue this hasn't been brought up too much but 
it has been thrown out there. Some ladies have experienced ringing in their ears. I, for one, I have not experienced this. Um, like I said, it's been brought up before and maybe about the three years I've been on the thread, I've seen it a handful of times. So just please express caution when you're trying this. Um, if anything doesn't feel right, don't keep going on with it. It, it just isn't worth it. Um, I also want to express um, about shedding. While you're on this, your body, it doesn't seem to release the loose hair follicles. It keeps it all in. It's kind of like Rogaine. Um, you know, it won't let you shed or anything. So once you stop, if you stop like abruptly, you're going to notice like this massive amount of like shedding. And you're like, oh my god, you know, I'm going bald and all my hair's falling out. No, it's just hair that would have normally naturally fell out but was kept in because of the myconazole nitrate. So I don't want anybody to freak out when they start seeing like spider size, you know, hair globs in the shower. It's just what happens when you stop using it. Okay, so um, now that I went over the bad stuff, I'm gonna go over the benefits of using the myconazole nitrate. Um, besides not having dandruff and just having flaky skin, um, you're going to have really, like, rapid growth of hair. <laughs> now, this might not be a benefit for ladies that color their hair, but for those of us that, you know, m want to grow our hair out or, you know, other personal reasons for, for wanting hair quicker, um, you can expect to see results of one to two inches of extra growth a month. Now, the normal person gets a half an inch of growth, but using the myconazole nitrate, you actually you're like oxygenating your scalp so that increases you know circulation it increases growth so your hair actually grows a lot quicker I'm gonna go over um, frequently asked questions that I get about this and the first most important question is is it gonna make my head stink well my answer to that is no it's not gonna make your head stink um, it's uh, it doesn't smell. It goes on your scalp clear when you rub it in or dilute it. it you know, you don't see it. Um, there's, you know, there's nothing really to worry about. You, know, you can wear it around your boyfriend, your husband, your girlfriend. They're not going to know unless you like say, "Hey, check me out. I got cooter cream on my head." <laughs> so you know, if that's pretty much the big one. Is you know, is it going to make my head stink? No. Um, my other question that I usually get is, how often should I apply it? Um, when I was doing this on a regular basis, I did application um, every other day or maybe just twice a week, you know, on the weekends, depending. Um, it doesn't make your hair, you know, extremely greasy or anything like that. Um, you know, you can still style it. You can still do whatever. I just, I choose not to do it all the time because it's rather expensive and I don't have the money for that. So I diluted it, applied it twice a week you know, two to three times a week, and that was it. Um, and then my final question is, um, if I make large batches, you know, how long are they going to last? Um, I don't really know the answer to that one. I always, um, always made small batches and kept them for up to two weeks. My fear was that the active ingredient uh, wouldn't stay as active if it was left sitting out diluted. So I just, rather to be safe than sorry, I just always did small batches, you know, as I needed them and kept them for up to two weeks. All right, everybody, so I really hope that you got a little bit of something out of this video. Um, if you have any questions, I have a link to um, the website that I made that actually has a ton of information. I did a bunch of research on this. And, um, you know, everything that I've talked about can be found over there and if not um, you guys have my email address feel free to you know email me with questions you know any, anything you might want to know you know I'll try to help you if I can um, I also want to give a shout out again to my ladies over at the LHC um, you know I was a little like shy about doing this you know put my face out there with the you know coup de cream and um, but I think it's going to help a lot of people so you know if I can help those few that are struggling with you know trying to grow their hair out it makes me feel a little bit better because I've been there myself so I just want everybody to have a great day and peace out